man. I remember one of the discussions I had one time. This has been years ago. I used to do a show called um, Mondays in MMORPGs, and I did three seasons of it. I, and I think we did something like 15 episodes or so per season. It ran over multiple years. And I remember one of the episodes discussing this game in particular because I was I was playing it at the time, probably around the Morrowind expansion, maybe. Um, and I was lamenting the fact that if you just run around here and look, there's these these interiors are beautiful, right? And I feel this applies to many different games, probably all games. Um, but I remember the ESO discussion being principally there because if you look at the top. You have a compass that has a waypoint. It's not unique to this game. I'm just pointing it out for the purpose of the discussion. Um, people don't pay attention to the environment. They pay attention to the waypoint that's up top, right? Your compass, your mini map, whatever. Um, and as a result, you have all these little details that world builders and artists have built into the game, right? That a lot of people would never notice don't pay attention to and don't give a shit about because they're just beelining their way to the next objective via the minimap compass whatever but i love coming in here because there's things like this so it's on a little raised ds kind of platform here but the sound design is something that you would listen to so as i get closer and especially it's off in my right headset now I can change. Now it's in the left headset. Now it's centered in front of me. Okay? These are little things that people don't pay attention to when they're beelining their way to the next objective. But if it was missing, the world would feel dead. And there are hundreds of little details that happen like that. Like, here's another one. Sparks from the torches. Are sparks necessary? No, but they're a little detail. And listen to the crispy crackling of those torches. Very subtle, but it's there. Broken urns, things lying around. You get deeper into this game, you know, there's bookshelves and all these other things that you can find scattered around places. And there's... You, you look at a, a, a zone like this or a setting like this, and there have probably been... It could be anywhere from 50 to 100 passes that have happened across this piece of art, you know, across all of this. Hundreds of hands have touched this. Hundreds of man hours have gone into this. And yet, most players are going to come in here, beeline straight to here, grab a weapon, turn around, run out. And they're never going to take the time to, like, run around and just explore all the amazing things that have been done to make this feel like a living breeze space but if it wasn't here you would notice it so it's a weird it's a weird way in the, in, in the way people will play games when they have a um, waypoint um, people are more apt to explore games when there's not a waypoint and I remember when um, Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey I think was the one that came out around the same time uh, they were both praised because they took well, they gave players the option to take the compass out. I don't even know if you, I, I don't know if you could do that here or not. Um, haven't even ever looked at that. But I know that if you're someone who wants to get into a game um, and really immerse yourself, just pay attention to the environment you're in because good, good um, environment building, world building, will make you want to stop and smell the roses, and it's totally worth it. I don't know if you can turn that off here or not. But. Be that as it may. We're going to move forward to the next part of this. The Gates of Adamant.